Hey there, fellow domain enthusiasts. If you're like me, you've probably been using Google Domains for a while now to manage your online real estate. It's user-friendly, it's reliable, and everything you need is right at your fingertips. But what if I told you it might be time for a change? Imagine this, you log into Google Domains one day, ready to manage your precious domains, only to discover that it's now being sold to Squarespace. Now don't get me wrong, Squarespace is a great platform, but what if you're not comfortable shelling out $20 per year for every single .com domain, for example? Now again, don't get me wrong, that's not necessarily the case. In fact, right now, you're probably gonna be honored your existing Google domain uh, pricing. However, in the future, that might be bound to change. And that's where I come in. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step the entire process of transferring your domains from Google domains over to Porkbun. That's the process I'm using. Now, obviously, you don't have to use the same registrar, but that's the one that I'm gonna go with based on my research. And what's the best part? I'm doing this myself for the very first time. So you're not alone in this journey. So are you ready to go on this journey with me? If the answer is yes, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. So once again, we are in Google domains over here uh, and I'm gonna be transferring one domain just as an exercise. And if that goes well, fingers crossed, I'll move the rest. But as of right now, as you can see, I have well over 20 domains, specifically 28. Not all of them are .com. Some of them are, you know, .ai, a lot of different t TLDs. Um, so it's certainly much more than, you know, just the $12 uh, per domain that I'm paying. Um, so I'm gonna be moving over the bigtechmindset.com, right? So that's my domain and I wanna move this over to Porkbun. Right now, I don't have an account, but let's see what we need to transfer. So if you go to porkbun.com and click on transfer, and you can see exactly what you need, what the requirements are. So in order to be able to transfer a domain to Porkbun, you have to make sure that the domain has been registered for at least 60 days, so that's one of the requirements. The domain has to be with your current registrar for at least 60 days. In my case, both of those are true. And finally, you have to make sure that the domain name is unlocked and not on hold. So if you go on Google Domains, by default, you're gonna find, um, you know, I clicked on my domain. If I go to registration settings and scroll down, I'm gonna find that the domain is locked by default. So when I'm ready to transfer this, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna wanna make sure that we turn this off so that the domain is unlocked and then you're gonna to wanna to get the auth code to transfer out. But first, I'm gonna uh, set up my first account with Porkbun. So I'm gonna sign in, and right now, again, I'm not a user yet. So I'm gonna create a, a new account, and you do the same thing. So just enter your information here, and I'll see you in the next step. And now it's gonna prompt you to verify your email address. So it's gonna send you a code to the email you used to set up the account. We're gonna grab that from our email, paste it in here, and hit submit. Now, first thing you're gonna notice is the account security notice. So it's gonna ask you to you know, set up your two-factor authentication just for added security. I'm gonna skip that for now, and I'm not sure whether or not I need to put in the credit card information now, but I'm gonna to go to transfer and see what happens. So I'm gonna to go to transfer over here and scroll down. And again, we're gonna make sure that all three of these are correct, in which case they're, they are for the domain that I'm looking to transfer and I'm gonna type the domain over here. So big tech mindset, um, and we need the auth code. So to get the auth code, again, we're gonna go back here, we're gonna unlock this, right? That's the requirement. So we're gonna unlock this from Google domains, then to transfer out, and it says over here, transfer your domain to another registrar, um, that's where you get the auth code. So I'm gonna click get auth code, and then it's gonna just have you verify that it's you. So I'm gonna click next, I'm gonna authenticate in, and now it's gonna expose uh, the auth code, which is over here. So I'm gonna click copy over here to copy that. I'm gonna go back to Porkbun, paste it in here. And by the way, before I even do that, if I go to bigtechmindset.com, you're gonna notice that it takes me uh, directly to YouTube because right now it's pointed to a particular uh, DNS or name server and it's gonna you know, automatically forward you to my YouTube channel. So we're just gonna wanna make sure we do the same thing with Porkbun. So I'm gonna hit submit over here to you know, get the transfer going. And if I scroll down, it says you have additional options. So you can uh, not automatically turn on 
who is privacy if you wanted to. I'm gonna keep mine on because I like to maintain my privacy. You could also opt to not automatically uh, enable auto renewal. In my case, I do want it to, so I'm not gonna check either of these boxes. Now I'm gonna add my transfers to cart. And this is gonna be the fee, so it's gonna be $10.31. So I imagine whatever, uh, whenever your current domain expires, it's gonna add another year to it and transfer it over to Porkbun. On the right-hand side, you'll see you know, all the additional features that come with uh, you know, the domain. I'm gonna go down, continue to billing. And of course, you did have the option to apply any coupons if they happen to work. In my case, I don't have any. And over here, I'm gonna edit my credit or add my credit card information. So now I'm on that final screen. You could have also used Google Pay and other forms, whatever, you know, whatever your preference is. I am gonna save my information for one-click checkout just to make things faster next time. And I'm gonna hit the pay button over here. As you can see, it is now processing and the payment has been made. And then it took me to this page. So I was uh, the total charge was $10.37, which obviously could change over time. Now, how do I find uh, my list of domains? So I'm gonna go to account and domain management and hopefully it should be listed there. So right now, uh, we see that we do have the domain over here and it says generally transfers take about five days to complete. So as of now, we're just gonna, you know, have to play the waiting game, whether it takes a few minutes or a few hours or, you know, five days, like it said. So uh, I guess I'll follow up when that happens. Now, about a half hour later, I actually got an email that's associated with the Google Domains uh, domain to either cancel or approve the transfer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that button within my email. Uh, it's gonna take me to this new page just to kind of confirm, do I wanna cancel or do I wanna transfer? So be sure to read through uh, you know, everything that they mention over here. And then if you're comfortable, hit the transfer button over here. And if you choose not to respond, then as it says over here, within a few number of days, uh, the transfer will proceed. So it's gonna happen either way within five days. So you can either cancel it or you could probably hit transfer to help expedite it. So I'm gonna hit transfer and now that transfer has been approved. And a few minutes later, I actually got an email from Porkbun uh, confirming that the transfer uh, did come over. So now we are, we are good to go and here's my link. I can click on it and what might appear strange, at least in my case, is it's still pointing to the same YouTube channel that I had configured when it was on Google Domains, but there's a reason for that. So if I go back to Porkbun, you'll see my domain did come over. If I click name server over here, the NS, you'll actually see that it's still pointing to the same domain name servers that I specified in Google Domain. So that's very neat that that actually uh, comes over itself. So again, uh, I have nothing else to do. I didn't have to repoint the uh, DNS by any means. It was already configured that way. When I made the transfer, it came over essentially. And then you have your other information here. So, you know, your auto renew is on, it's locked. Here's your who is privacy and you know you're able to market this and then we have the expiration date which as you could see it's been moved up another year since we just paid on pork bun so that's you know obviously good as well so we're all set everything uh transferred like we wanted to and we didn't have to repoint the dns even if you do have to repoint the dns you could go through these two options over here whether it's specifying a specific dns through the dns records or if you just wanted to uh, look over here and confirm that the name server did come over from either uh, your old specified ones or if you wanted to use the default name servers that come with Porkbun. And that's one of the uh, one of the reasons I did choose Porkbun is because they do allow you to uh, specify DNS. And that's a wrap. That's how you transfer a domain successfully from Google Domains and Porkbun all together this whole process probably took about an hour total, uh, including the waiting time. You know, it's a bunch of emails just kind of confirming to initiate the transfer, to complete the transfer, um, and the DNS came over. So, hope you found this video helpful. If so, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. This is certainly a newer type of video. I don't typically do videos like this, but if you do enjoy it, I'll continue making them. And of course, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Yeah.